Okay. All right. I'm gonna try to shoot another video today while I'm on some doing some downtime. Today I want to do this. This is probably gonna be on my uh, series of everyday reasons to be prepared. Uh, I'm just gonna go with it. So, one thing I will show, or I did show in another video, is that in my lunch bag <laughs> I carry uh, an extra belt, uh, a backup belt is what I usually call it. It is a uh, nothing fancy belt. It rolls up real tight. You know, it's not a good leather belt. Like one of these little, uh, what would you call that? Like the military style belts, a gun, it's not a gun belt, but it's a, you know, it's just a good strap, strap belt. Hope you can hear me. <clears throat> so, uh, this is simple. This is not gonna be a long video. Uh, main reasons why I carry a backup belt, and I have carried a backup belt for probably about a year now. Uh, I forgot my belt one day going to work. And, uh, you know, uh, being a maintenance guy, I carry a lot of tools around my waist, and I thought about doing a video about what I carry at work, but I don't know how that's gonna play out. So uh, I have this little pouch, tool pouch, that I clip on my belt, and my radio, you know, we have radios we talk to each other on. Uh, it goes on my belt, and if you don't have a belt, I have a backup belt. Maybe you don't need a backup belt where you work, maybe you do. Uh, the other day, my backup belt came in handy. This Carhartt belt, that I usually wear, or that I used to wear, I should say. The, uh, nothing happened to it. It was, it was getting pretty wore out. You can see there's different, different levels. So I can tell you what it is. This is with, with my gun and without my gun. <laughs> wherever, I, wherever I hitched it, you know. Uh, and at work, I took my belt off my pants and I put it in my work pants. I just used the same belt all the time. And I have considered actually having a work belt. Anyway, if you look close, this is a repaired belt buckle, a homemade belt buckle, if you will. And what happened was the, the, uh, the cast belt buckle actually disintegrated. It just came apart. I thought, oh, let me get closer. I thought this leather would end up breaking or tearing out, but it didn't. What actually happened was my belt buckle broke. And you can see here, or maybe you can't, that's just a bolt, a couple of washers for a spacer. This was part of the old belt buckle and I kept it. And then this is a lock, a lock nut. I don't know if you can see it. We took a couple of pieces of key stock, drilled some holes in it on both sides. And we made a belt buckle to get me through the day. And, and we were just doing it cause we didn't have a lot going on, but as you can see, it works pretty good, and a lot of the guys are like, "Man, that's cool," <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's it's a it's a manly belt buckle, you know. So, uh, but yeah, there's my my home or my work repaired Carhartt belt buckle. But what I got to noticing is, and I could fix it. Most of these little little nut heads would kind of scratch me a little bit. I need to go over it with some sandpaper or something and smooth it out and it will be nice and cool and I'll still use it. I mean, it still works, still fits good. Good belt, maybe it'll be my new work belt. I don't know. <clears throat> so all that to say, basically I carry uh, a spare belt in my lunch bag because A, I have room and B, I've had two reasons now to need one. Uh, I also carry another belt, the kind with the double, the double D rings. I carry in my get home bag, just in case. I mean, you know, you put a lot more stuff on your back or a lot more stuff around your waist, and you try to walk home, and then your leather belt that you love breaks on you. You've got a backup belt, and that's a good enough reason right there for me to carry a little extra weight in a belt. And maybe I should take this down, but you know, it ain't really going anywhere in that pocket. And so a lot of guys, you know, uh, Travis over at uh, Set Apart Homestead, great channel, you should check it out. He did a video on his belt, on his new belt a while back. And it's a nice belt, I'll admit, it looks pretty neat. I don't know that I could uh, handle having to 
you know, put it back together every time, and it may not be a big deal, I don't know. But I will say that my replacement belt for my leather belt has not been the greatest belt ever. Um, I, I'm not a big fan. It's a good leather strap. And I'll show it to you, and I'll try to talk down at you. It's a good leather strap belt. But what I found <clears throat> is that it's a reversible, so you can make it brown or black. Kind of more of a dress belt, I guess. It's fairly solid. It's a Levi made belt. But these little edges are just like the bolts. They dig into my my skin. Of course, I have this little round ledge that it, that it has something when I'm sitting down. It'll dig into my skin sometimes. And another thing I've noticed that since it's reversible, it pulls apart. It's got a little spring in it to do it. I flip it around. I find that it, sometimes it comes apart and it comes back together and it pinches my belly. So, I mean, obviously the cure is I need to lose this belly, right? Well, that ain't going to happen overnight. So, yes, I have a replacement belt that I wear. <clears throat> but it uh it is not the best belt so uh i'm gonna look out for another good belt um preferably something that's not dual sided and that the belt buckle doesn't separate on so that's my uh shorty's in the window she's caught me making videos <laughs> okay sorry um Everyday reason to be prepared, number, where am I at, three, four, probably four. I know I haven't been doing real good on that series, but backup belt uh, for obviously everyday reasons. All right, y'all have a good one.